Hey guys, for this game, it's gonna be about win conditions. It's a term that you may have heard, but you don't always understand. A win condition is basically the condition to win the game. I mean, it sounds pretty stupid, but it's if you win the game, what makes you win the game? And this can change throughout the game, but sometimes in Champ Select, it's very clear. We have the scaling at four items, we win every single fight. Win condition, get to four items. That's it. And then win every single fight, of course. Sometimes, like, the game has a win condition in Champ Select, but then at minute 15, Samira has 10 kills of the 11 kills of their team. And then the win condition is to shut down Samira. So maybe you have Mazar in your team. Well, Mazar ult, shut down Samira, then fight the rest of them. Maybe the win condition is going to be Drakes and, and stack up Drakes to get to Soul because you have a pull composition and you have plenty of healing in your team. So if you have Ocean Soul on top of that, first you deny it and then you get it and you're going to create a huge HP differential. So regardless of how bad or how good the game looks, like there's always a win condition and there's always a lose condition. You need to recognize them and play for them. Here in Champ Select, by doing the thinking, I recognize one big win count. And then during the game, I recognize another. So I verbalize them. I tell them to my team so everyone is aware of that. I make sure that we play towards this. And this game, it allowed us to actually secure that win. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hey guys, we are gaming still in the Unranked to Master series. Uh, we're in, well, High Plat MMR, I believe. Uh, and I think we have a couple other smurfs in the game. So let's see what we have here. Jinx, Janna, Scaling, Bot Lane, uh, Scaling, Mid Lane. So already we have a ton of Scaling. Can they match the Scaling? Well, they have good Scaling on Scion, good Scaling on Rise. I mean, yes, so now it's going to be harder though. Uh, okay, I, I still believe we have better Scaling just because like of smaller Jinx plus a Janna. Uh, but we have a Zinzawa to still have some pressure early on and to maybe bail out um my mid and bot so let's see smother into raise well i think smother just like a straight up a better champion these days and uh, in this matchup they should just trade waves and i think so we're winning now bot lane i'm a bit scared because this could snowball really hard for yasu uh, nami it's not supposed to it's not supposed to but it might but it shouldn't but it might you know you never know and then jungle we have uh, Zin Zhao into Volley Bear, so I guess we can expect more pressure early on from Zin. Um, yeah, that's about it. And regarding top lane, we have a same matchup, which is uh, probably one of the easiest matchups, in my opinion, as in the Mirror. Uh, it gets tougher later, but it's really easy to get some kills early on. So we're going to trade very aggressively on that guy. Up. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Uh, where is he? He might be hiding in that bush. Yeah, trying to kill something. Uh, I think I'm going to wait for him to go for these minions. And then threaten to E. Yeah. Hop. Okay, well, last one minion for that. Uh, can I dive him? Well, with this auto, I think I can. I need to make sure he doesn't get level 2. Before I can dive him. Oh, and he goes for me and not the wave. This is so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm under ghost, man. You cannot catch me. And now he loses most of that wave. That's really good. Yeah, basically, like, why is it such an easy matchup? Because if he starts with W, uh, well, then you can just, like, go on him and break the shield. Have enough damage. If he starts with Q, well, you can dash through the Q or you can, like, just kind of play around it. And yeah, it just it just overall an easy matchup. Now it gets tough if he plays maybe phase rush and plays his wave smarts, or if he goes for a uh, good death. But I mean, Trinamir is really happy when he has gold, so even Babu's gameplay is not the worst for Trint. 
Okay, well, he was able to one-shot the wave because it's, it's Sion, you know. So I think what I'm going to try to do here is probably to go for a very, very slow push. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking right now, what do I want to do exactly? Like with the slow push, the thing is, if he respects, I'm not going to get much from it. Maybe I could look for a demolish proc, but the thing is, we're going to be pre-5 minutes, so I'm not going to get a plate. Uh, I don't think I will be able to like straight up dive him. Mm. I mean, maybe, actually, if I slow slow push, I'm not going to crash on this one, but on the next one, I could probably go for a plate. No. I'm going to look to punish him if he goes for this. Uh, I lost plenty of minions, though. Was it worth it? It's going to depend if I can do something. Okay, well, he played it smart. He played his champion like it's supposed to be played. Like, you, you put yourself in a good wave situation. Then you just... Well, clear waves with Qs. Uh, let's see. Volley. Into battle. See him now. Yeah. He's most likely going bot. He has no... Um, no top camps to take. So, now we have a good spot. Because I held the wave on my way. Now the wave is pushing. I mean, who's going to push it anyway? Now I'm just going to threaten to proxy. Uh, to proxy to freeze. Up. Hold the wave right here. And either he bases and loses the whole wave. Or he doesn't base. Okay. Okay, we put ourselves back in a, in a good situation. Yeah, it was just like... Well, well played by him to just like TP back up, one shot the wave, like do cyan things. And then he gave him a lot of time where I couldn't abuse him on anything. I was thinking about maybe warding grubs, but I thought we actually saw um, Volibear go for... Uh, go for bot games, 100%. But I guess he went back to, to top side. It's whatever. We get Drake. We trade Scrubs for Drake, which is normal. Uh, this time... Not gonna miss too many CS. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure that the wave is coming. So I have a bit of time without losing any golden XP. And go for trades. Only when I'm sure that my wave stays in a good spot, basically. Here, for example, I have a smaller timer. Oh. Same here. I'm dra dragging the minions a bit because I'm seeing on the minimap that my minion wave is coming. But not there yet. And then... Oh, I go for the Dread. So during all that time, Saiyan is not getting anything. He's not getting gold. He's not getting all the XP. And Saiyan, he really wants to CS, by the way. That's why, like, boss here would suicide. And a lot of good Saiyan players would suicide to get the wave. Because if he doesn't get the wave, it means he's not stacking passive. It means he's not getting gold. It means he's not getting anything. And that's not what Saiyan wants to do. He's a really good scaling champion, but only if he well, actually scales, and to scale he needs to kill. And that's not what he's doing right now. So same here. I could dash on him, but it would be bad because the wave would crash. So I'm just gonna wait for my wave to come. And then I could go for a trade, but I think he's just gonna just gonna be a positive trade for him. An enemy has been 
Well, I think... Yeah. Well, smart by enemy team to call for volley. But what I'm gonna do is that... Still gonna pressure and give time for Zinzao to come. Okay, I overestimated my damage by a ton here. The reason is most likely because I just like didn't purchase, so I'm not that strong and volley. But yeah, he has tab eyes and cloth armor. Yeah, that's a big mistake on my end. Did not press tab, did not check for items. If I did, I would have realized that I just don't have the damage for this guy. And I think Zin did the exact same mistake. It would be. Zin only had longsword to tab ice, so it's not gonna work. Oopsie doopsie, my bad. Yeah, I was a bit unfocused, uh, but I can be fully focused now. Okay, so let's see. I'm 40 CS up because of everything that happened, and now I finally spent my gold. Um, let's see. Grubs are up. And I already have three enemy team. So I kind of want to defend them. But I guess Zin doesn't. I will see. Maybe I can defend them by myself. Okay, at least put a ward, maybe I get the plate. No, I don't. Maybe I get the next one with the Morish. Well, I don't want to go too crazy if my Zin is playing bot. There's another Drake in 40 seconds. We could look to stack them. Also, like, we don't forget that my team is just like scaling by default, so I shouldn't feel like too much pressure to make things happen. But I mean, guess what? The wave crashed, so now we have, again, a wave in a good spot. Um, and we have vision, grubs. We see volley now. And Cyan is helping him. Okay, just take this. Please take it fast. Okay, where is Volley going? He seems to be going bot side. So, maybe I can just... Boop, boop, boop. Take a pretty big chunk. Um, and look to dive the Cyan actually. Mm, I probably need one more trade before the wave crashes. Oh, he's giving me wait. What is he doing? Okay, that was weird by him. So what he should have done was just like wait for me. The wave was pushing to him anyway. So he just waits for the wave to crash and he stays full HP and this way he never gets stove. I don't know why he tried to get the wave before it crashes. And now I can kill him without even ulting nor ghosting. I could have maybe killed him but then I would need to ult and ghost so... Okay, let's upgrade again. He spent his gold, he has... He has Iceborne. So we don't want to go crazy. I have plenty of gold myself. I think I can afford to go Rageblade into, into Cyan, Cyan Volley. Yeah, I'm going to hit a lot. They're also pretty tanky. So I think it's going to be Kraken, Rageblade, Navori, and then Armor Pen Item. And probably Borclast. That's probably what I'm building. 
Okay, well we have a 60 CS lead into Scion again, which makes it even better. I could have probably just ghosted and run him down. I feel like I'm gonna have another angle soon. Yeah, like if I I notice that if I walk back, he walks up. Yeah, shouldn't do that. Easy peasy. Okay, Volley is going to be pretty big. Can we deal with Volley later? It's not going to be easy because we're actually, I just realized that we're full AD by the way. Uh, Smolder needs to go AP. I'm going to type it to him. Uh, Smother, you need Lyandry later, or we pull AD. AD, and never kill. As you wish. It's good build. Yeah. Okay, at least he knows, you know. I was concerned that he didn't plan it at all. Well, we are gonna need a bit more time. How many stacks does he have? 148, wait, that's actually really good. Okay, he's going Shoujin Sh Sh Lyandry. Really, really good. Uh, Really good stacks, by the way. I'm not liking this. They may take two turrets. Yeah, I was keeping my E. Was keeping my E to be able to block his ult. Hesitating between uh, rotating there or. And they already took the turrets. They're not gonna take T3 here. So I guess it's, I'd rather get 1k gold for myself. Gonna be able to take the whole thing. My team is a bit clueless. My team is being a bit clueless here. Yeah, smaller stacking. Gonna get there. He's building Shoji now. Except I'm like Andres. Okay, this guy has no ult. He's dead again. Plus, I kill him very, very fast now. I know he wants to get for the to get the turret so I can stay in mid range. Might look to get T2. Okay, this is gonna be a tough game. This is gonna be a tough game. Do they have ways to get on top of Smolder? Well I guess they do. Janna just needs to realize that her carry is not. Yeah. 
It's not Jinx. Which is this? Can I even? No, my Eden hit. Ah, that's so troll. It's okay. It's not. It's not the worst. Well, I guess I'm just gonna let Jinx on the side lane. She's too weak to stay with my team. I think. You can still look to win fights if I'm there. Okay, 1800, bro. Like you, you, you. we can't play aggro yet. He's walking up way too far. I think it was probably seen on the ward. Okay, there's no Nash yet. Bro, yes, we're at 1 HP. Okay, we get the kill, we get the resets. Okay, well that puts Jinx back in the game, I guess. To not keep going. Holy she listens. Nice, she did listen. Okay, we get short in on smolder. Soon 225 stacks. Ah, bro. What are you doing? Guess she didn't listen enough. Where's my smolder? With Shojin. Where is he? An ally has been slain. Wait, he's so scared. Ah. Okay, I will let him execute that. Nice save by Jana. I have no worry, I need to base. Yeah, Rage Blade was a really good choice here. Don't fight before. I mean, we can fight before if it... Well, it gives us... It's a good fight, you know, but what I mean by that is gonna wait me. But I guess yes, so grieve this. Okay, it's in 25. So I will have my ult not long after. Yo, guys, there's a fight here. Nice. Let's do Nash instead. So the dream for me is that my team goes on Nash. Because we have two ADCs, let's not forget. And that I solo Drake. And then help them on Nash. 
there's a fight going or something. Nice. Why do you not base? Base, base, base. You know why I'm calling for him to base? Because look at what happens now. We took Nash and everyone based. Okay? So now we're all going on the map. But him, he's doing camps. And what is, what is he going to want to do after his camps? Most likely he's going to want to base. So we cannot play for such a long time. Because we're doing camps. Like here we could be all on the map. And actually pressuring something. But this guy is still doing camps. And now he's going to press B at some point. And if he doesn't, it means that he has like 1.5k gold on him that he's not using. So now it's better that he stays on the map. But as I said, it means that he has a lot of gold that he's not spending. Oh, yo, yo, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. No, 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 come. Okay, race load, race dead. I guess I would just bring a side wave. My team should be fine here. Rampage. Yeah. Just had to buy time for Smolder to scale and remind him that he had to go AP. Now the game is way easier to play. Also, that triple kill that we were able to get on Jinx made a big, big difference. So yeah, when you have Nash, you want to apply it to the maximum number of lanes possible. Because having 5 Nashes or 1 Nash on the lane is exactly the same thing. So unless I'm needed for a fight or anything, I'd rather push a side lane. So instead of playing on one wave, we play on two. Perfect. Nice! It actually got scary. Maybe it did not get scary for you, but it got scary for me. The fact that we were full AD, that bot lane was losing. That Volibear was getting pretty fed. Nice. Good job, good job. Well, I think I'm posting this one. So if I did, thank you for watching it, guys. Um, next video is going to be tomorrow. Same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Good luck and have fun in game and in real life. And I will see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye. Much love.